It is a word that we've all basically heard in passing, but one local school wants to put a stop to it. 23 ABC's Lauren Titus joins us with more on the spread the word to end the word campaign and why this year has been particularly meaningful. Good morning, Mike and Aaron. About 15% of the world's population is physically or mentally disabled. But at Fruitvale Junior High, they've got a culture of respect that ignores it all. Instead of using the R word, retarded, um, to change it with respect. Around Fruitvale Junior High, you'll find backpacks, the typical classroom setup, and these posters with hundreds of tiny signatures on them. It's a great thing seeing my friends taking a step toward being more respectful and just trying to say positive words instead of using the R word. It's all part of their spread the word to end the word campaign, which empowers students to eliminate the word retarded from their vocabulary. A battle Don Bransby and her special needs sister confront on a daily basis. It's like a slang word to me and it really puts me down and I try to like correct people like, hey, you shouldn't say that, it's hurtful. The school joined this national campaign three years ago. But this year will forever stand out for special needs teacher Jeanette Lackey. This year is an exceptionally special year for us because we lost one of our own. May 29th, my son went into a status seizure, and he was my son Ben, and he was not able to recover from that, and we had to take him off life support June 1st. A scholarship fund in Jeanette's son Ben's honor was set up last week and will go towards students who exemplify a kindness and acceptance of all peers, a sentiment Ben lived by. He was just an amazing child, and I know I'm his mom, and you know, I'm a little prejudiced on that, but um, he was a teacher for us, and um, we are better people for having been his parents. If you'd like to donate to the Benjamin Lackey Scholarship Fund, you can call Fruitvale School District at 661-589-3830. Back to you.